What's up, YouTube? This one, don't share today with another uh, Yu Gi Oh! walkthrough of the Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. I know it's been a while, I apologize. I just am gonna have a lot of work to do and just try to get everything done. Last time I went after Kaiba beat him. Now I'm going after Weevil. After this win against Seto Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian, Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the pack box was a video tape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped up on the TV screen. Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting Interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills from personally right here, right now. We shall hold a special duel. Some of the strange and arcane magic froze time so no one can move except for Yugi. This dark, this, this dark dimension that we are in is known as a shell realm, a mystic place where the incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible quite possible. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Tell me, Yugi, do you believe that there's magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented the game. Well, I told you I didn't. Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the shower game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystic duels in dimension, in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battled in real, with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful, the Egyptians lost control of the and nearly destroyed the entire world. That's a good story, Pegasus. But these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real and also quite dangerous, Yugi boy. You realize you really are quite entertaining the way you scowl and sneer, so defining yet so helpless, and so completely ignorant of the power of your million puzzle. Yugi looked down at the money puzzle that he wore around his neck. Powered by puzzle, five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the shadow gates or inside seven mystical millennium items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle is one of them? Yes, and there are mystic energies locked within magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. As the two dulled Pegasus say no every move you move that Yugi was going to make before he did, despite a distance advantage. Yugi mustered all of his skills and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I've taken your me the measure of your talent this day, Yugi Moto, and next with me duel, we shall play for higher stakes. I'm done with your games. <laughs> you presume that I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not, for I also possess one of the seven million items. All the all powerful million I Million I That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the extent of his magic. I found that given the proper incentive, anyone can be made play my game. The power of the million I lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi could only watch in horror. Yugi Grandpa We will do again, Yugi. How else will you reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yeah, no choice but to complete and fix this those kingdom tournament so that he could rescue his grand or get his grandfather's soul back. At those kingdom, each dose was given two star chips, which they wagered against the other dose on the island. Whoever earned ten star chips gained entry to the tournament finals, where they could would complete compete for three thousand three million grand prize or a chance to do Pegasus himself. The for the first duel, you could face off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a dose with whom had a bit of history. While riding the boat to this game, we all took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. So, so when, so when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased after him into the woods. I can send the spy, spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. The sun for Andrew, would, you're dead. And also says, answer for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can you let me back us? <laughs> 
Wait, well, it's time to find out if you're good as Dolly as you are running away. Was I said you running away? You're coughing, weaving you into my web. It's time to Dole. I said, I'll give the story doll story deck three chances. And if it does not work out, yeah, sorry for the glare. Just trying to get that figured out. I'm not sure if it's from the TV or straight to the camera or what. I will be figuring it out later. Okay, I'll start with by sitting mystical off and calling a turn. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. I sucker. He's got it. He had it. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm gonna need guy the dragon champion or something to get rid of his moth, like Mirror Force. <laughs> oh yeah, like that's really gonna freaking help me. He's like, guys, the dragon champion, I could tie him. Well, could have tied him. Come on, give me mirror force. <laughs> oh, dang it. Yeah. Can't take on his moth. Sometimes these decks on the game can be very fickle. I would be taking heavy damage. There's not much I can do. I need like lightning vortex, dark hole, something. Ah, Mammoth graveyard. Okay, no choice. I'm going to take 3,100 3, points of damage again. Dang it! I have yet to play a scratch on him. Come on, Dark Hole, Mirror for something. Sangan, that's not going to do me any good. Like I said, sometimes these decks are fickle. Yeah, and sometimes it's just like right there. I'm not sure if you see it. It says, the tip says, destroy the fields. Fill spells with burning land to keep the insect monsters from growing. Can't do that because I didn't have it. Come on, give me something good this time and make him this deck brick. Oh, there's Bear Force. Gonna set this and just call a turn. I'll use it if he gets out. Uh, moth. And he's going to do it. Dang it, I can't. I need. Yeah, some of these cards are some cards that were. <laughs> I got some skull. I'm gonna have to end my turn. Can't use, can't use Monster Burn to bring back his moth. Which is a pain in my neck. Yeah, on this show, uh, the fields were already set. 
for uh power bonuses. And if this was the original enemy, I would have been able to get out some skull ray. Come on, give me something. You're, you're kidding me. You are kidding me, right? <sighs> Fudge. Thirty-four hundred. Do I have to take the hits? Burning land, and I've been boned again. No fill spells were on the field, dork. Let's start with this deck. I'm gonna go with a uh, one of the other decks. I'm going first. Finally, you're getting me something. Set this. Play Winged Ringer in the Fortress. Don't have rock. Uh, don't have any of those yet. And I'll just end my turn there. Come on, I got almost two and a half minutes left. Be too bad, not too good either. I wish that this hadn't taken so long. It's my Green Dragon for Rude Kaiser. Thanks to the filled power bonus. He gets more power. Alright, I'm sorry guys. I'm going to have to leave you hanging here. I will be back with part two in my next video. Later!